Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Ain Binti Abdul Razak and I'm from University Technology Malaysia. I'm taker, I'm taking a Geometric Engineering and I am Year 2. In this video, I will explain to you about the differences between aerial and terrestrial photogrammetry. But first, let me explain to you first about the what is aerial and what is terrestrial photogrammetry. Aerial photogrammetry is a technique of photographing the Earth's surface or features of its atmosphere or hydrosphere with camera mounted on aircraft, a rocket, or Earth orbiting satellite and other spacecraft. Then, for terrestrial photogrammetry, it deals with photographs taken with cameras located on the surface of the Earth. The cameras may be handheld, mounted on tripod, or suspended from tower or other specially designed mount. Now, we go to the difference between aerial and terrestrial photogrammetry. Firstly, it's about the position of the camera. Camera position of aerial is handheld or mounted in aircraft, a balloon, poles or fixed to the vehicle. For example, we mostly know about this, which is drone and UAV. But for terrestrial camera, it is handheld at the ground level. For example, it's photo satellite. Secondly, aerial photogrammetry tends to use large format cameras mounted in aircraft looking straight down. Some highly specialized cameras use multiple lens to simultaneously collect nadir looking views and oblique surroundings and nadir view. However, for terrestrial photogrammetry, it's based on the cameras at ground level looking horizontally. The cameras can be special purpose camera or generous purpose hobby grade cameras. On the other hand, it's on how to handle aerial photogrammetry. The specially designed aerial vehicle fly over the landmark, for example, is UAV, which are here to be captured, and the UAV speed which regulates the camera catching speed. But for the terrestrial, the camera's position is elevated, and the tilt angle, the length of the focus of the lens is adjusted. Moreover, the accuracy and statistics make a large number of pictures are taken which further helps in comparison of the quality. But for terrestrial, the accuracy and statistics make a less number of pictures than aerial because it is at the ground. Then, the aerial kind of photogrammetry is suitable when we are trying to map a large piece of a land. That is longitudinal knowledge and calculation are integral part of this photogrammetry operation. But for terrestrial photogrammetry, it's a preferred method when designers and planners and planners aim to monitor and map regions, pipeline network, transport network and other ends. The axis of the camera takes care of the aerial surface to be covered. In sum, aerial photogrammetry requires expensive equipment and more technical skill. For example, aerial photogrammetry requires a high-end infra support, specially designed and programmed lens being just one for them. But terrestrial photogrammetry comparatively needs much less investment and technical skills to carry out. Last but not least, majorly aerial photogrammetry contributed to topographic mapping and significant input saw for GIS application. For example, finding archaeological sites also benefit from the fact that we get to see a large piece of land at one go. But terrestrial applications are very diverse. They can be architectural package studies, archaeology, medical, industry, what industry I mean is shipbuilding, aircraft assembly, large antenna shape verification and others. It also can it's also in the form of forensic or any task requirement measurement. For example, terrestrial photogrammetry is more suitable for movement related issues on a land mass that is re relatively smaller than that cover in the other hand. No? In the other kind. And that's all from me. Thank you for watching. Selamat Hari Raya!